Hi, welcome to TESC, where you test your subject knowledge on the signals and systems questions. So today's first question is, is direct delta function and unit impulse function the same? The answer is no. A direct delta function has amplitude infinity at time t equal to zero, whereas an unit impulse or a delta function has amplitude one at t equal to zero. What is the integral of a delta function? The integral of a delta function is a step function. It is also useful to know this following. Integral of delta gives you a step signal. Integral of a step signal is a ramp signal. Integral of ramp is a parabolic signal. What is the differentiation of a delta function? Zero. Since delta is having a constant value one at t equal to zero, differentiating it obviously gives you a zero since differentiation of a constant is always zero. It is also useful to know these following derivatives. Derivative of a delta signal is zero. Derivative of a step signal is delta signal. Derivative of a ramp signal is step signal. Derivative of a parabolic signal is your ramp signal. Can you simply explain how delta of kt is equal to 1 by k delta of t? Delta of kt is a property called as time scaling property, whereas 1 by k delta of t is amplitude scaling property. Since for delta function, the time scaling will not have any effect since t is equal to zero for delta function, which means delta of kt is equal to delta of k into zero, so is equal to delta of zero. So at time t equal to zero, the value of delta is one, so the delta of kt must be equal to delta of t. But since the integral of delta is used from minus infinity to plus infinity, your time scaling converts to amplitude scaling. Multiplication of sine time 10 pi t with delta t gives zero. Since delta t is valid only at t equal to zero, and it is zero in all other places, sine 10 pi t is equal to zero at t is equal to zero, product of these two gives you zero. However, cos 10 pi t into delta of t gives you one since the value of cos at t equal to zero is one. Give an example of a singular function, a delta function. Definition of a singular function is a function has a value only at specific instance of time Derivative of function is zero. Delta function satisfies both these above conditions. Is delta function even or odd? Even function. Why? Because the function exists only at t is equal to zero. So the even odd testing would have to happen at t equal to zero plus and t equal to zero minus. By definition of delta, Delta of zero plus and delta of zero minus are the same, which means delta is an even function. Why is delta signal so important that we have seen so many questions in this edition of TESC? ADC, analog to digital conversion. So no analog to digital conversion exists in today's electronics or electrical market without the use of a delta signal. Every analog to digital or continuous to discrete conversion takes a continuous waveform, converts it into its equivalent discrete or digital version, which is a series of delta signals. So delta signal is just as important as your sinusoids. I would say they have the equal importance where sinusoid is used in packaging your information, 
delta signal is used in storing this information in your computer or any storage given device. What is the difference between x of 3t and x of t by 3? It's again a very, very confusing question. Not to be mistaken, the x of 3t is your compression and x of t by 3 is your expansion. Just remember, x of 3t makes your signal 3 times faster whereas x of t by 3 makes your signal 1 by 3 times faster. So, if you have a song which is 2 minutes duration, your x of 3t will play that song in just 2 minutes whereas your t by 3 will play the same song in 18 minutes. So, which means the 2 minutes conversion is your compression and your 18 minutes song playing is your expansion. What is the integral of cos 2 pi t? 0. Cos 2 pi t is a periodic function with equal positive and negative areas which sum to 0. What is the integral of cos 2 t? It is sine 2t. Why so? Since cos 2t is without a pi, which means it's not periodic, making the integral of cos 2t not equal to 0 and by trigonometric identity, integral of cos is sine. So you end up answering as sine 2t. What is time reversal of sine 2 pi t? So the time reversal of sine 2 pi t is not cos 2 pi t, it is minus sine 2 pi t. So the time reversal property states that x of t is taken as x of minus t. So for sine 2 pi t, we have sine 2 pi minus t which is equal to minus sine 2 pi t. Similarly, the time reversal of cos 2 pi minus t is equal to cos 2 pi t. Is sin t a bounded signal? Yes. A bounded signal is defined as a signal which has finite values at all instants of time. So all trigonometric signals, periodic or non-periodic, or bounded signals by property. Sin t, cos t, tan t, secant t, sin 2 pi, cos 2 pi, T all are considered as a bounded signal. Is delta function a bounded signal or a function? The answer is no. Delta ramp exponential, they are not bounded signal because they have infinity value. They extend from 0 to infinity, which is the case for ramp delta exponential and parabolic also. Name a complex valued signal. A complex valued signal must have values of the form a plus ib. A typical example is complex exponential signal, the exponential of j phi t. What is a zero lag product of cos and sine? It is equal to asking this question as what is the dot product of cos and sine taken on the same phase where both cos and sine have equal phase or they are in the same phase. So that is your zero lag product. The answer is zero since you can see here cos zero into sine zero is zero, cos pi by two into sine pi by two, zero, cos pi into sine pi is zero. So they are orthogonal signals or the dot product is always zero. Thank you for listening.